Oh boy. I've been to one hockey game, one NHL game in my life. Uh, I can ice skate a little bit, but I've never had a hockey stick in my hands. Baseball is Bellevue native Kevin Tyson's sport. Tyson, kind of a self-made guy, was a walk-on for the Huskies, eventually made the club, and now has a chance to be a draftable player. He's had a big year. 1999. And that one drilled deep towards right center field. A decade after this hit for the University of Washington. All right, you guys want to play bump? Kevin is raising a family in Seattle and working as a sports marketer when he learns the first American team to win hockey's Stanley Cup was the 1917 Seattle Metropolitans. There were like school kids that had climbed on top of the arena to look through the transoms, look through skylights so they could see it. It was standing room only within the arena. Kevin scouted for someone to chronicle the team's twists, turns, and characters, including the colorful coach, Pete Muldoon. And he took a disparate crew of, of outcast guys that had been cut from other teams and, and they all have their best you know, seasons and like longevity of their career under him. But no one wants to write the story. The thought of uh, what these guys went through and what they accomplished and to have it just be completely lost to history was sort of the, the driving force in, in making me want to do this. So Kevin, these are some of the photos I really wanted to show you. Kevin quit his job to write the book. One of the clinchers, a neighbor willing to share his collection of 100-year-old Seattle hockey mementos. And there's our Seattle Stanley Cup champions and their vignette glory on a postcard. But within a week, many are putting on new uniforms, drafted into World War. The entire celebration, everything is curbed with uh, guys going off to fight in the war and, and the roster gets split up and the team gets disbanded. Suited up again by 1919, the Seattle Metropolitans are in the Stanley Cup Finals again, facing Montreal, tied with one game left. The Spanish flu pandemic that's ravaging the world finally hits Seattle and kills one of the Canadians players, hospitalizes four of the other uh, players. Still the only Stanley Cup played with no declared winner. And this is, to my knowledge, the only surviving example of a scorecard from 1919. It was a lot of fun to be able to write a really powerful, inspiring sports story and then layer in the historical context. Kevin's sports story is powerful too. I got to the UW and all of a sudden everyone was just as talented as I was and I got cut from the team. I was really lucky two years later to basically be brought back onto the team. We talked about Kevin Tyson's power. This senior has put up 11 home runs now. Being terrified every day I showed up, there was going to be a pink slip in my locker that I was getting cut again. And I ended up being like a pinch hitter. I was the guy that they'd bring in in the ninth inning to get the hit when it mattered. Under it, makes the catch. Huskies are the conference champions for the second year in a row. He heads to minor league pro ball in Boise. The fan base was really into the team and the game and the players and all that stuff. Next stop, the Midwest was doing well my first year and then ended up getting hit by a pitch at the end of my first year and broke my ulna and ruptured a ligament in my wrist and tore all the cartilage and it just effectively ended my career. You know, I'm 23 years old at that point, 24. One year later. My college coaches got me a job playing in Vienna, Austria. And so then this is the jersey when I went over there. And so I played two seasons and met my wife over there. Kevin and Michaela moved to Seattle. So I was coaching at the UW for five years and had finally gotten on the field. Yeah, it was one of those moments where I was finally sort of getting my break and, and uh, getting enough experience to be able to, to continue to grow and move on, and I got sick. Kevin learned he had cancer, then lost his job. Nobody was going to hire somebody with three kids under five and in the middle of chemo, you know, at, at a high level of baseball. And so, you know, it's just like I was out of baseball. Still sick, Kevin put on a uniform again to coach elite high school players. He coached all the way through to recovery. He still coaches that team, telling players, winners, look forward. If you can't see the, the bigger picture at the end, you're, you, know, you shouldn't be trying it in the first place. But right now, Kevin is looking back, trying to give us the bigger picture of Seattle's nearly forgotten hockey history. So they played their best when it mattered most. And it was funny, like, the second I saw it, I was like, that's the title. There's part of me that felt like it was an opportunity to, 
do justice to these guys and tell their story and get it out in the world. Watch CityStream Thursday nights at 7 on the Seattle Channel. Or get video on demand and podcasts anytime at seattlechannel.org.